Hello everyone, welcome back to my pseudo career test in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. The previous video did not go as planned. Our probes went somewhat awry, one spinning out of control and another had weird power issues. But this time we're go just going to be landing Kerbals on the moon and Minmus. And we won't have the power issues in theory because the power consumption is mainly when the probe core has to communicate home. And well, we'll see about the spinning out of control part. Uh, but anyway, we don't have any probe core on here, we're just going to have a Kerbal, and we are going to land directly with the pod that's going to return us, so the heat shield is there, we're just going to land, uh, it's a moon and minimus direct mission, if you will. And uh, we have the spark engine on the lander, we have a terrier engine here, this will do the transfer, capture, and start our descent. The spark engine will do the final bit of descent, ascend, and bring us home. And so that's its job with its 1,668 meters per second. And of course the rocket is the rocket here and it'll get us hopefully to where the Terrier is not going to have too much trouble. Uh, so that is the, what you got, swivel engines and three of them. So it's sort of like a swivel heavy. And we will see if this works out for us. Right now it's uh, weighing in at 40.76 tons. So we will assume that we can unlock a larger launch pad compared to what we've been using. And uh, note the little tank configuration here. Uh, this is something that was from KSP-1. You can just sort of take these these small tanks, either those or these, and sort of turn them like that and then put them on like this. I don't know what the aerodynamics of such a situation would be in KSP-2, but I found it reasonably beneficial in ksp1 you could tweak them out if you don't like them clipping so much but this is probably all right okay so we are not gonna call this the fly safe we're just gonna call it the moon lander one <laughs> why not all right now i've sort of done similar things in previous versions of ksp2 like i built a whole moon base after all but i think this will be good to test in this version. Uh, we've been getting some different results here anyway. So we will see. So, here we go. And it seems to be Bob this time. We've got plenty of uh, riskiness. Oh, this way. I want to roll. Lots more TWR. We're past the speed of sound. I thought this would be more wobbly actually with the spark engine connection there, but uh, perhaps people complaining about wobbliness have really gotten to the devs. I didn't mind the wobbliness so much, it was like old KSV1, uh, but I guess people aren't used to that anymore in the KSV1 era of auto strutting. Okay, there, there's a little bit of bounciness there. See, that's what I was expecting. Okay, and staging. Now, this is a clean save. There's uh, nothing going on in the save. This is the first thing we've launched, first thing I built in the VAB and everything. I decided after the hijinks last time that we should just start off clean. Make sure there's no lingering effects from, especially the spinny craft. In previous versions, something spinning out of control like that uh, did not bode well for the save after all. The moon's gotta be the more challenging one. So we'll do Minmus first. Getting into orbit around them, the moon's easier. Landing on them, uh, Minmus is easier. Okay, we have made orbit. We've got 1,868 left, which is fine. That's pretty much what I wanted. Okay, well, that that's fine, I think. We'll just take that for now. Probably won't end up exactly like that. I think SAS has been a little bit better this time. In this version. Might have been already fixed in the previous version, though. Okay. And go. Okay. 
I mean, this is a joint, you know, the one with the spark here that in early KSP-1 would definitely get some struts. Uh, interesting, it bounces when coming out of higher fizz warp. Okay, we'll just take that. Okay, let's go over there. Bob gazes out at the sunlit part of Kerbin. As we head out to Mimis. There's Mimis. Well, around here wouldn't be too bad. So, we'll try and just go directly into a landing right here. Okay, we've captured. And we have an intended impact in the landing zone. Okay, I don't think we need this stage anymore. We would need the rest of its fuel for the moon, but not for Minmus. Um, interesting. The landing gear doesn't seem to have fully extended, has it? There we go. So, in 4x Time Warp, for some reason, when I did the landing gear extension, it partially extended, but didn't fully extend. But I don't know why. It's not a huge issue. We would obviously want to come out of Fizz Warp or 4x Time Warp. Oh, that stage just disappeared. That I wasn't expecting. Hmm. I expected a nice little impact there, but okay. Uh, this engine apparently is not active. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Ah, it looked active to me, but I guess not. No, not quite the flats, but actually this would be nice because it'd be almost two biomes. We could probably get the Kerbal to move from one to the other. Oh, well, I had to move over here instead. That's an awkward bit right there. Oh, up, 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 up. Up, no, 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 no. Go down, go down. Be hot. It's a little bit strong for Minmus. Okay. So, EVA, please. Gosh, they look huge compared to the pod. Anyway. Um, do they have any glitchiness while moving around Minmus? Wow, that's a huge hop. I, uh, yeah. That's, that's a huge hop. <laughs> a little bit strong for Minmus. Overall speed, 8.5. That was a thunk. We heard a... That was an echoey thunk. Okay, plant flag. So, Bob on Minmus. First landing in this version. I don't remember if I've done this in previous versions, actually, to plant the flag part. Is this our first time planting a flag on KSP2? Or do I just not have any memory? Well, let's try the jetpack. Ho yeah, definitely hopping is a bad idea. We'd totally overshoot the pod if we hopped. Ah, scooch. Okay, board. All right, so we have landed on Minmus. Our flag is, well, out there in the sun. And that's all right, so let's go. Dramatic climb of the, over the landscape here. Okay, definitely in orbit there. Okay, well that's good enough for a start. So will the result end up being that safer do th to do things in KSP2 with a Kerbal? That is what I'm wondering at the moment. Maybe probes are dangerous.
and go. I mean, I guess to some extent that was true of KSP-1 as well. You guarantee control with a Kerbal. That's pretty typical, 26-ish. Okay, departing we miss. Again, the margin on this stage is more for the moon than for Mimis. A lot of the problems in the previous episode ultimately came down to keeping track of electric charge. And, of course, I did not put enough electric charge on the vehicles, on the little probes. So, it was interesting to see what would happen in that situation. But yeah, it definitely has some issue with electric charge management and tracking. But, alright, we're separating off the service module. Okay, and... Arming the parachute. I've got the pressure right. Here we go. Well, it'd be nice to get some re-entry effects around here. I understand they have been working on that. Through the clouds. And we have full deployment. Again, interesting sounds. Should be alright with Bob here. Oh, sort of in a tree, but alright. Okay, active vessel is recoverable. Recover. Okay, so we have done one mission. We'll try the harder one now. Landing on the moon. Okay, I've switched out Bob for Val, and we are going to the moon. So, ignition. Oh, start up. I always say ignition first because that's when I expect to ignite the engines, but of course we have the countdown part. I don't know what to say for countdown. Do I say countdown? Okay, we're past the speed of sound. Again, this time the Delta V will be a little bit tighter. We'll see how it works. And separation. Okay, separation and ignition. And that's orbit. Okay. About the same as we had to Minmus. Travel time about one day, and that looks fine to me. And go. But yeah, uh, there's something weird with the maneuver nodes. If that's the start burn, the maneuver should not be pointed at prograde right now. It should be a little bit lower than prograde. It's just, there's something weird about the maneuver nodes. <laughs> uh, it's, that's not right, but we'll pass on that for now. We will be a little bit off doing the maneuver when it says start burn in and actually going with that time, given where it says that. That is incorrect. We should hit zero on prograde close to the middle somewhere. Since I didn't add any normal or radial burn to it. Okay, we have an acceptable periapsis there. Let's go. We have 989 left here. So we need to capture, start our descent, and then finish the descent with the spark. And then with the spark we have to get back to orbit and come back. It's not, you know, a tremendous amount of margin for that. 2,656. Depends how much we take to land. Okay, ignition. We obviously will not be going direct into a descent this time. That's good enough. I think we'll try to land around here. The sun angle should be interesting. Okay, that'll be fine and then we'll need some time to slow down anyway. Oh, it's changed camera on me right there for some reason, too. Okay. 
Yeah, we actually have enough to do the whole landing with the terrier right now, but we don't want that. Okay. And we'll dump that stage. Okay, did actually explode. Very good. Okay. Oop, don't go up. And we're sort of going a little bit awry. But that's fine. Okay. So, we are down. And let us EVA. I think we have enough. Uh oh. No! What happened? No, okay, I just put it, pressed EVA, right? Okay, so let's, let's board. <laughs> That's not fair. I landed it properly this time. <laughs> Why does it, I swear, there's a conspiracy in Kerbal to make things topple on me. Those struts don't, didn't, uh, you know what? I think it was the auto suspension. I should have changed that. It, it was too, too compressed. But, I mean, at least it looks that way. It, it, it's being compressed even here, which is just weird. Okay, well, um, let's see if Valentina can knock it over or something. I don't suppose we can jetpack it. No. Let me try and run at it. Oh, that's going too far. Yep. Hmm. Uh, doesn't seem like we can do a whole lot about this. It doesn't rock the vessel very much. Eek. When she goes on top of it. Okay, if we rotate up like that, we seem to be able to do stuff. Okay, rotate up. Okay, okay. Uh, no, uh, have that on. Uh, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, 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 okay. We can rescue her. <laughs> it's okay. We're good. The reaction wheel was way more powerful than I thought it would be. I didn't get to plant a flag though. I was too busy trying to figure out how to save her. But it's okay. We all know she did it. Okay, should be plenty of extra to get back. Looks like we have more than adequate margin. Alright, that's about the same periapsis. Okay, and go. Alright, we have our way back. Departing the moon, which almost got us and required a rescue for Val, but this time we managed to make it. A little bit of reaction wheel power. Probably coming down on the nighttime side. Okay, separation. And preparing the parachute. Yeah, we're coming down in the dark, but no problems coming down through re-entry for now. We'll see about the thermal effects. That'll be a whole other thing. Oh, I forgot to change the parachutes this time. They came out early. Okay, we are down. I can't see a darn thing, but we are down. It says, oh, I think it's measuring to the bottom of the water right now. Um, while it's in the air, it measures to the surface of the water, but anyway, recover vessel. Alright, well, it's dark around here, but we managed to send our Kerbals to the surface of the Moon of Minmus and bring them back, though in the case of Val, barely. Uh, let's face it though, I always tip over on the Moon, so maybe it's just me. Uh, we'll continue with testing. And we'll try to send them to other planets next, which the interplanetary stuff has always been a little bit more dodgy anyway. So we'll try that out. And maybe a probe to Venus's surface. I don't feel like stranding a Kerbal on the surface. But we'll see... not Venus's, sorry, Eve's of course. Uh, Eve's surface. 
Uh, we will see whether Eve's atmosphere does anything funny or whether it's a smooth ride down. And yeah, that'll be another thing to test. Anyway, so I will continue with testing KSB2 with the pseudo career, just going through the normal progression of things that we would go through if we were playing career in KSP2, assuming it's the same as KSP1. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.